Hello, my name is Ben Tice. I work for the Law School Admission Council, the company that develops the LSAT India. Today I'll talk about the analytical reasoning section of the exam. There will always be one AR section on every exam. In this section, you will read passages of 120 words or less. Each passage will describe a scenario and some rules that apply to that scenario. Then, you will be asked a series of four to eight questions about the scenario. These scenarios always involve relationships among a group of objects, concepts, or individuals. The AR section will always have four sets of passages with associated questions. In total, there will be approximately 24 AR questions in the section. To give you a feel for what these passages can look like, let's consider a sample AR passage. This passage and two questions associated with it are described in detail on the website. For now, just focus on the passage. Notice that there is first a brief description of the scenario. This scenario involves an ordering relationship. A student must perform six different activities in some order. The passage ends with a list of rules. These rules prohibit certain things about the ordering, but they also allow for different possible ways in which the activities could be ordered. Let's look at some particular examples of analytical reasoning questions. While I can't give you a complete list of the kinds of questions we ask, I can highlight some notable examples. First, which one of the following could be true? Every AR question, in some sense, is about what can be true, what must be true, and what cannot be true, given the scenario. Sometimes, we'll ask exactly that. Sometimes, we will ask this type of question, but put it in terminology specific to the scenario. So, we may ask, which one of the following activities cannot be third? Importantly, some AR questions will have an if-then form, where the question introduces some further supposition and then asks what could, must, or cannot be true. We may ask, for example, if laundry is earlier than kitchen cleaning, then hedge trimming must be, and here the answer choices would be options like first, second, etc. As a final example of the kind of question we ask in AR, consider the order of the activities is fully determined if which one of the following is true. For a question like this, you would need to identify the answer choice that would force an ordering upon the activities. It's important to note that suppositions that are introduced in individual questions are never carried over to other questions. In this case, the supposition that laundry is earlier than kitchen cleaning would only apply to that individual question, not to any other question about the scenario. Let's talk briefly about some tips for approaching the analytical reasoning section of the test. First, read the passage and the questions carefully and literally. For example, consider the words immediately after and at some time after. These mean subtly different things. If you encounter the words at some time after in an analytical reasoning scenario, it would be a mistake to assume we mean immediately after. Second, Sketch out tables or diagrams where helpful, and use abbreviations. Diagrams can be helpful in understanding the relationships being described, and abbreviations can serve as useful shorthand in those diagrams. Third, make your own shorthand versions of the rules. You'll need to refer back to the rules a number of times when answering the questions for an AR passage. Rather than reading them in full, it can help if you've written out a shorthand version. Fourth, pay close attention to words like only, exactly, except, not, must be, cannot be. These words carry important information. Fifth, pay close attention to conditional statements. These are statements that are often phrased in terms of if-then, but there are also other ways of phrasing conditionals, such as by using only if. As we've seen, many AR questions have an if-then structure. But conditional statements can also be used in the AR passages themselves, or in the answer choices. As you review the free prep tests online, pay close attention to the different ways that conditional statements get phrased and used in the AR section. This has been intended as a brief overview of the analytical reasoning section of the LSAT India. 
For detailed further information, please consult the official LSAT India Handbook. Thank you, and we wish you great success with the test.